Good morning, everybody. May the name of God Almighty be glorified in everything that we do. Respected dignitaries, special guests, parents, and all those who are gathered over here, a great and wonderful morning to all of you. Today is a very important day for me because a dream that I cherished for many years has come to reality. As a founder of Hopkata Center for Persons with Disabilities, it has been my privilege to work with an exceptional team who has been organizing various annual events, including cultural events, sports days, and many more events and activities over for over 120 students at our center for the last 18 years. However, I wanted to do something to benefit the students beyond our center this year. And when I sent a proposal to our Minister of Education and Higher Education in Qatar, Her Excellency Ms. Bhutena Abdul Ali Al Jabbar Adwani, she was kind enough to approve the proposal and also mandate for Qatar and it was to go ahead and organize this amazing event under her patronage. Today marks a new day in the history of the spoken events for children with disabilities in Qatar. And by the grace of God, we have over 86 students between the age groups of 4 to 30, representing 26 different nationalities gathered to compete over here today. For the very first time in Qatar, we have been able to bring together various centers that operate to serve children with special needs in a common platform for collaborating and making this event a reality today. 11 educational centers for children with disabilities are participating together here My team at Hope Qatar has worked around the cross to meticulously plan everything to connect this event aptly titled Riyadh Gati, which in English means my sport, with a tagline, we are all winners. Because all our children assembled for this year in this event are winners in their own ways. We could not have made this event happen if not for the apt support of Ms. Iman Nagaini, the Director of Educational Services Centers, Department in the Ministry of Education and Higher Education and her amazing team, all of who are present over here today. The support of the Yamaniki School of Doha, who graciously sponsored the rally for this event, cannot be overlooked. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are honored to welcome Amit Shavadras, His Excellency the Ambassador of Bangladesh. When I was struggling to find suitable sponsors for the event, I was given confidence by Mr. Anand Kumar and Ms. Sarita Anand Kumar from Pantone Advertising who have been supporting Hope Qatar for the last 18 years. They kindly sponsored all the t-shirts used by the students, officials and volunteers and the medals and the trophies and the mementos and the certificates and the backdrop and literally everything. Without their support, I would have found it very difficult to manage the cost of this event and to give the event the visual touch that it needed. So thank you so much. I also thank Manai Corporation who are our co-sponsors. Bhagana for sponsoring the use of things for our children. Double Tree Hotel by Hilton who have provided me venues for the introductory meetings and GSS Service International for sponsoring the plans that have been used by our students and officials today. Most importantly, I thank the seven volunteering organizations, ASTA Volunteers, GSS Service for Qatar, Kerala Women's Initiative Qatar, MIESTPU University Mission 20, Technic Energies and Youth United for Christ that have provided me with over 195 volunteers who are supporting us to make this event happen. Over 100 volunteers are from Mission 20 itself. And we have one volunteer with every child assembled over here today. And uh, they are the element who are most important for this unique event. I thank them from the bottom of my heart for taking time out to do this for our children. I thank the Qatar Sports for our Federation, the Ministry of Interior and all other authorities who have permitted me to organize this event today. I thank the members of the paramedical team who are on standby who have come to support this event. I thank the members of the media who are here to carry this message to the world that our children are all winners. I thank the parents for bringing your children to this contest today, to the centre owners, the centre managers and the nominated staff from all the eleven centres that are participating with us today. I assure you that this is just the beginning. And together, we will make this world a better place for our children with disabilities in Qatar. I will fail in my duty as a leader to acknowledge the relentless support from my amazing team of Hope Qatar, who, or for persons with disabilities, who have worked literally round the clock over the recent days and spent innumerable hours over the last many months planning and monitoring the execution of every micro element of this particular event. 
I urge all the parents to stay till the end of the event because it's not just about our own children's event but also the event of every other children and here to overcome their individual challenges and to make new friends and to become a larger community in Qatar. The vice leadership of this country has built various provisions for persons with disabilities into the Human Development Bureau of the Qatar National Vision 2030 and this event is a direct contributor to their great vision. So today as parents we have taken a step forward to create more opportunities for our children to achieve their full potential in life. You are their greatest champions and the strongest advocates. We need to inculcate in them a sense of confidence and a sense of achievement because nobody else is going to do it for them. Today's event is being organized in line with the special honorary guidelines. All awards and prizes are also in line with these guidelines. We have independent judges monitoring the event so that there is no sort of partiality from the organizing team. And all events are considered and conducted in strict adherence to the published rules and guidelines and the regulations. It is my dream that in future years, we are that will grow to include all centers and schools people with disabilities in Qatar and then grow further and include children with disabilities from all over GCC. And inshallah one day bring to this great country Qatar children with disabilities from all over the world to participate in this event. May the Almighty give us blessings to do our best and to give all praise and glory to you. Thank you so much, Adam.